and welcome to Talking Schmidt. I'm your host, Eric Schmidt. Whoa, hello, I'm Greg Burmeister. And uh, for those of you viewing, and maybe for those of you listening, um, we have uh, we have the we have the air conditioning, which is usually behind us, covered up by like a cityscape. Uh, what would you call those uh, 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 curtains? <laughs> uh, so we have the AC just blasting because it is fully <laughs> summer in New York City yeah. right now. Yeah, it's uh, it's the the AC is on the the coldest setting and it's on full blast. And it's right behind you. <laughs> yeah, it's directly behind us. <laughs> so you're gonna be cold uh, by the end of this. Uh, but anyway, True. so in case you're wondering, in case you notice, there's a difference in the appearance of the show, or maybe you, maybe you can hear it. I don't know. We'll see how we'll see how the edit goes. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so we we. we have to have it it's fucking hot uh it is it is memorial day we're recording on memorial day Mm -hmm. uh this won't be out till thursday though but summer summer started greg what are your plans this summer you got any big plans you traveling you doing anything yeah um i'm planning on getting surgery sure yeah Uh, that's not really the that's not really like a summer (laughs) vacation plan no it's just something you have to do it's it's gonna take me out for a little while yeah yeah i guess we'll see how long uh, yeah yeah Yeah. i mean this is assuming it actually happens because it's already been rescheduled a few times sure uh so who knows i don't i don't really care any fun plans Uh, (laughs) you know i don't just just chilling and and i like it that way Uh, you know it's nice to just have the freedom to do whatever i want whenever i'm available sure yeah yeah, so actually, uh, I'm I'm doing a similar thing this summer in that like we didn't plan a bunch of vacations. Normally, we try to plan a bunch of vacations. Yeah. Uh, but this year, uh, due to due to financial restraints, uh, uh, yes, where we've just the economy. Yes, we've decided to just kind of chill and 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 not plan a bunch of shit. Uh, but like it's fun like we're kind of embracing it you know we, we, yeah we I, could, I love it that's kind of yeah. how I just live my life uh, most of the time I, you know I, I'm not a big plans guy yeah, go to, like maybe go to a Yankees game exactly uh, maybe go fun. To, yeah go to a Mets game or something I realize there are parts of the city I still haven't really been to oh. even though I've been living here since 2009 did you know that Staten Island has a beach called South Beach I didn't. No. So I'm gonna go check that out. At oh, some that's point. cool. Yeah. So yeah. big plans, folks. <laughs> big big uh, plans. <laughs> Heading all the way to Staten Island. And we have a bunch of great guests planned. You know, people are coming here on vacation, and and we're gonna have them on the podcast. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be really fun. Yeah. So we'll be able to just keep on recording for you folks since we're uh, <laughs> locked in the city. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. So it's already been kind of a fun. Like last week, I saw you quite a bit. Yeah. We, like, we had we had a lot of fun last one, week. One, two, three. I, I think. Four Four days actually: Monday, yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. <laughs> Friend of the podcast, Trisha Roniotis. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, was in town, and uh, we went to uh, we went to a steakhouse with her. Right? Uh, we, we went to Keen's. Keen's Steakhouse that on was my West 36th Street. Which, terrible location. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, but great steak. That was the first time I've been there. First time for you? Yep, same, same. Now, Greg, how would you rank the steakhouses? Ooh, I, I mean, that was very good. It's hard to compare uh, because usually I, I go to a lot of steakhouses by myself, mm-hmm. and I, I usually just get like a little eight ounce fillet. Sure. Um, and and we got the we got the big boy. Yeah, the big what, boy. What was that called? What was that was, called? What we got I, you was know, it a porterhouse? Because it had it, a fillet attached to it. Yeah. I don't know if that's a porterhouse that normally has it. It was I'm, a giant. It was just a giant chunk of meat. Also, listeners, viewers, life hack here. Uh, if you go to a steakhouse. They'll usually have a steak that says it's for like three people, and uh, I te- I decided to test it this time. I was like, you know what? I bet what they do is, I bet that steak would easily feed four people. They say it's for three because usually there are parties of four, and you're trying to trick a party of four into having to order another steak exactly. just to make up for the lack. But friends, I'll tell you this: there's no lack. No, nope. we were all full there, of fucking yeah, there steak. There were four by the of end. us, and it was it was, it was the a perfect, perfect amount. Perfect yeah. amount. We had no leftovers. Yep. Uh, it was fantastic. We ordered the exact right amount. So, guys, if you're at a steakhouse and it says for three, it's probably for four. Yep. So you can you can trust me on that one. <laughs> and if I'm wrong, send me an angry email. I don't mind. Uh, yeah. Uh, but Keen's, I think, maybe one of the best. Like. The, 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 you know, it's it's a regular steakhouse steak. There's nothing crazy about it. It doesn't. It's not like a. Pe- yeah. Some places do like a lot of pepper. Yeah. I, I consider yeah. that a different league of steaks. Yep. Like not, strip not like pe- some like special sauce that right. like you know that's yeah. specific to that. It's place. just a straightforward steak. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think Strip House, which is a, a steakhouse that I love, they do a, a, a thick like pepper crust. I love it. Ooh. I think it might be my favorite steak in town, but I don't consider it in the same. 
like class, yeah. I consider that a different type of thing. Now, I will say this about Strip House as well. I think it's the best overall. I think the ambiance, it's just beautiful inside. It's like, it's lower light. It's red walls. It's just a really cool place to get a steak. Yeah. And friends, that's the one in um, on 13th Street. Ah. Uh, you don't want to go to the Midtown one for obvious reasons. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I, I just think that's the best, that's the best overall experience. Now... When we're talking about like the old school steakhouses of New York City, your Keens, your Gallagher's, uh, I do think Keens takes it. I think Keens steak is the best, which like, you know, you're going for a steak. I think that, that you yeah, know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was. I think that should be the one thing you focus on. You weight that the most. Yeah. I also thought the uh, decor in there was better than Gallagher's. Yeah, it was really cool. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of artwork and all the pipes. All the on pipes the in the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah really cool. Um, Gallagher's a little too bright inside, just uh, not not as not as cool of an ambiance going on there. Second time I've used ambiance, I need to get a thesaurus <laughs> for next time so I can use a different word besides ambiance. Uh, yeah, so like I would I would say Keens probably number one if you're looking for like an old old timey mm-hmm. steakhouse. Yeah. I think Keens. Um, yeah, I was I was gonna say there's one um, that I went to last December uh, in the sim- same area except it was on Ninth Avenue, but it was like in the 30s. Mm-hmm. Um, called Uncle Jack's. Uncle Jack's. Yeah, I'm not familiar with Uncle Ooh, Jack's. Very good. Yeah, yeah. I went there for my friend Julia's birthday, and yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, very good. Very side good. dishes are important too. By the way, yeah, I, I, felt, I felt like Keen's kind of dropped the ball on the uh, <laughs> on the creamed spinach. It wasn't yeah, as good as the other places. Exactly. But again, steak was significantly and the, and the mashed potatoes were fine, but just yeah. you know, pretty plain. Pretty, yeah, pretty. Yeah. Pl- I mean, yeah, they were as good as everywhere else. Yeah, exactly. not worse, but like, yeah, yeah. So uh, anyway, Keen's Steakhouse. Uh, they didn't pay us to say this. <laughs> uh, they, they should though they, they so really if you know should. anybody there tell them to pay us for saying for, for how that. much money we gave them they should uh, <laughs> uh, give us a little kickback or for something sure. but surprisingly it wasn't as expensive as I was worried it would be yeah yeah same it was, it was, it was pretty yeah. pretty standard again uh, I think we just ordered right we ordered the exact like we, we yeah getting the steak for three for four people it was, was the most efficient in and out of a steak place I've ever had yeah so yeah, it was yeah. super fun we also went with other friend of the podcast uh, Carolyn Bedgood. Both great episodes, by the way, uh, if you yeah. want to find those in our archive. Uh, and then we also went to Sean Donnelly's birthday, that, another friend of the podcast. Yeah, that was super th- fun. Very, very fun. Now, my cousin Emma, she just graduated college. She is uh, 21 years old, <laughs> and she is moving to New York City. And uh, that day... She she like put a she put a deal together for an, I don't know how that works by the way I'm 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 barely an adult myself but she 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 signed well I don't know if she signed the lease she got an apartment though yeah she, she somehow legally acquired yes. a place to live <laughs> <laughs> which if you know Greg's history with apartments not always legal no, uh, no. but she very she, seldom legal <laughs> she went the legal route what a lameo uh, but yeah super fun for her and we brought her to the party and. Uh, Held her own with us old, like a lot of old old people. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people old, in their forties. Yeah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was like an an uh, you know uh, aging comedian party, but it was. <laughs> yeah. but she held her own. A lot, there. a lot of gray hair at that yeah, party. Yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Uh, so that was super fun though, and uh, excited to have a family member in the city. Yeah, so. it's very nice. She uh, she she clearly um, follows the Minnesota. Wisconsin rivalry a little close. Hopefully she chills about that immediately. <laughs> Which I think is funny because there's not really a like there's not much of a it's I just feel, two, it's just two states that are next to each other. I know, <laughs> but I feel it's, like everyone I know that's from those states, like you are very cool about it. Ian Hunt yeah, is very cool just, about it. I don't think there's that much of a difference. It's just the, the land is the same. They both have <laughs> they both have lakes. Like I don't <laughs> now how Michigan though stole the land from Wisconsin. Like that is clearly Wisconsin's land if you look at a map. The, the UP, the Upper, oh, the Upper Peninsula, right? Like. How the fuck did Michigan end up with that land? I should look that up. That's yeah, something I'm actually know. genuinely interested in. But yeah, so anyway. I bet, I bet Joe Perra knows. Yeah, yeah, probably. We'll ask him. Yeah. Uh, but the, uh, you know, my, my, my cousin, uh, I introduced you guys. And I was like, Greg's from Minnesota. And yeah. thinking she'd be like, oh, cool. She was just like, fuck your legs. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, hey. Okay. <laughs> Greg, friend. Yeah, I, I didn't build the lakes in Minnesota. <laughs> I just went to a lot of rock and roll shows and... 
I must say, uh, Minneapolis music scene much better than oh shit, uh, Milwaukee. Shots, or... shots fired, shots fired, buddy. Well, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'd have to come where's see it Prince, for myself. Where's Prince from? That's, oh, yeah, uh, that's well, all. That's fair. Well, yeah, I mean. Milwaukee's a fun town, but I can't say I know much of, of yeah, any. Yeah, like I name no, one notable band. Yeah, nothing, besides Misery Signals. Nothing. Are we counting the Fonz? Is he a band? <laughs> the statues there. I don't think. I don't, I don't even know. think Henry Winkler's from there. No, no. They just built a statue yeah. to the Fonz there. I think that's the most famous thing in Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, besides uh, that Greek basketball player they have. Ah, uh, Yanis Antetokounmpo. Is that how you pronounce it? Yep. Antetokounmpo. Very nice. Yeah, very. I was very good. excited when they were winning. I really like him as a player. Yeah, yeah. He's. I like his. his Backstory. Yeah, but then what happened? Is he dead? Did he die? Uh, probably. Okay. So <laughs> a, lot, a lot of that going around well, these days. Uh, uh, rest buddy. in peace, Giannis. Um, yeah. What else is going on, Greg? Oh, uh, um, I had a I, I had a shocking revelation whoa. Uh, recently. So my my wife my wife told me something very surprising. Um, so I for forever I would you know I have an Apple TV. You got the remote. You can like talk to right. Yep, yep. And uh, forever, I would uh, I would hit the thing to talk into it, and I would say whatever show I was trying to look up. And for some reason, what would type out on the screen would just be the word doo doo. Or I guess that's two. Sometimes <laughs> it'd be a space, so two words doo. Interesting. Yeah, like meaning like you know, like shit. Poop. You know? Yeah, yeah, right. Um, poo poo. Yeah. So it's to say doo doo, and I was like, man, this remote is having like some sort of malfunction and yeah. that like you know I'd be like Sopranos and it'd be like doo doo or some kind of uh, gastrointestinal issues yeah, yeah. who knows I don't know I don't what know. technology is like now but so I was like what the what is going on here with this thing I would like ask my friends I'd be like does your Apple TV do this weird thing <laughs> where it says doo doo no matter what you say yeah, I've no, I used to have an Apple TV and I've, I've never once seen that yeah, it was it was this weird thing, and then like sometimes it would be like really long. It would do do do. <laughs> it would do that, and sometimes it would have like what I said in the middle of it. It would, it would be like do Sopranos do, or like yeah, you know do Simpsons do, or do do Simpsons or something weird. like that. Weird. Those are the only two shows I watch, by the way. Uh, <laughs> not not bad shows. No, no, terrific shows. Uh, so I I was like, and for years this was going on, and it wasn't like that big of a problem. Like I would just I would just end up having to like type it in instead, or yeah, and, and it wouldn't do it necessarily every time but pretty much every time I'm trying to watch TV it hmm. does it and uh, you know my friends thought I was insane you know I'd ask them and they'd be like no that doesn't happen with mine um, so recently we were out with some friends wife and I and somebody at the table was like what's the funniest prank you've ever like done on someone or had done to you or whatever and Joanna was like uh, my wife she was like I I uh, Every time Eric tries to talk to the remote, <laughs> it pops up on my phone for me to like type if I want. Oh. And so I just type in doo doo <laughs> and he's been thinking there's something wrong with the Apple TV. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, this whole time. Mm -hmm. uh. So pretty good prank, I thought. I wasn't yeah. even mad. I was just like, man, that's that's really good. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a possibility to like. I guess s yeah. Send the when we set Alexa it up or whatever it is to yeah. When we set it up, I guess we initially like attached it to her phone and gotcha. not mine for some reason. So yeah, so we're breaking down gender <laughs> so how, roles. How long has this been going? On? Dude, years, four years, probably. Oh, wow, like, that's amazing. Yeah, just an insane amount of time. And like I said, like it wasn't. Such a big problem that I was like trying to get a different Apple TV or a new Apple yeah, TV. Yeah. Or it was just under where I would like ask Apple. You know, I would like email and be like, "Hey, what what is with this?" Yeah, you know, I have and a they serious were just like I, I I have a serious I have defect. No yeah, <laughs> like what the hell are you talking about, buddy? So um, yeah, pretty good prank. You ever pull any good pranks on anyone? Or? You know, I don't like pranks. <laughs> I, I think they're malicious. Uh, the, this wasn't malicious. No, that, that, that one. but that's like that's most, good clean fun. But for the most part, yeah. It's like, she didn't write the, shit. The, the she victim. wrote doo doo. Yeah, there you go. That's <laughs> very PG. But for the most part, when people are pranked, the person being pranked does not enjoy it. It's sure. not a fun experience, and I like my friends. I don't right. like to, uh, but I, I guess in college we did pranks, though they weren't so much pranks as they were random acts of violence and vandalism. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> All right. You know, teeping, egging. Okay. Uh, we locked a kid in a porta potty. Oh. Uh, How do you lock uh, someone in a porta potty? Oh, you just like take a stick and put it through the, <laughs> you know, the thing where the master lock goes. <laughs> So, I, I mean, we called them pranks, but they were just awful things. That to we do to do. people? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I'm not really a big... Not uh, a prankster. No. It's, I have similar feelings with April Fool's Day. Oh, I think God, it's I the hate that dumbest. Shit. I know. Like, people just blatantly lie about something. Yeah. And then they're like, April Fool's. Remember when we sent those? We, we okay. had. Remember we we had those uh, notes we would send to people though. Those, yeah, those were yeah. kind of pranks, that, that, but, all, but like all in good fun. Yeah, all that was jovial. fun. That was fun. Uh, we sent like po- yeah postcards to people just saying "Dad?" <laughs> question, question mark. mark. <laughs> An alarming piece of mail to get. Uh, uh, yes. But yeah, so that was a uh, that was a fun that was a fun time. Yeah, yeah. Well, Greg. Yeah. We. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, that was good. Uh, Steaks. Um, acts of violence. <laughs> Locking someone in a porta potty. I think I would murder whoever did that to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like that's like probably top fear of mine as a germaphobe. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I avoid going in them I, anyway. I can't even. Be, I mean, I, I have to hold my breath like the entire time I'm in those things. Yeah. It's, it's terrible. It is no fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> well uh, we're all just now. We're all so just going to think about terrible about porta potties, porta potties uh, and uh, <laughs> searching for the television show Doo Doo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching, uh, folks. <laughs> and have a good day. Well, see you next time. Talking Schmidt is recorded at Burmeister Studios in Astoria, Queens. Opening music is by Greg Burmeister. Closing music is by Greg Burmeister. Our intern is Jason Travis. If you like what you've heard, please like, follow, and write a review for us wherever you listen to podcasts. If you didn't like it, please keep listening to it, but keep your opinions to yourself. If you really liked it, you can find bonus episodes over on our Talking Schmidt Patreon page. Membership is just $5 per month, and it goes a long way to buy us the equipment and bourbon we need. Thanks in advance, and hope you're doing great. Testing. Chick, 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 chick. Testing. Hello, hello, hello. Testing. Why are mine? Check, 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 check. Which one's which? Hello, hello. You're the top one? Yep. Mine are... Mine are smaller than yours. Yeah, it's because you're talking really quiet. Usually you're very loud. Okay, all right. Well, I'll trust, so, I'll trust the process. Oh, yeah, look at that. Immediately when I got into podcast you, voice mode. Use your real... Also, it's... <laughs> this is fun to watch this. I don't think I've ever watched this uh, uh, before. Yeah, look how loud you... I actually have to turn you down. Okay. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> yeah, if you're just like kind of doing this... Uh, it is I, I guess I should test at the level at which I yeah. plan to speak. Okay. But also, it's better to record it like a lot quieter right because then you can always boost it yeah Yeah. otherwise if it's too loud then it's like crackly and you can't really get rid of that right right um also that's like one of my pet peeves whenever somebody i don't know why people do this but almost everyone does it when they want to say something that's like they shouldn't say or they're they always lean way in and then like whisper (laughs) <laughs> it's like, oh, I probably shouldn't have said that. And like, that do- doesn't pick up at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you need to use your vocal cords. <laughs> hey, let's, let's uh, since we're recording this anyway, let's chop this off, put it at the end after the credits. Ah, that's a, this is a fun little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's pretty Talking good. Talking about like some insider baseball. <laughs> uh, okay, ready? Yep.